everybody, it's Colonel Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I just got a cool horn back. In fact, it's my favorite horn, made by the guys at Adams. It's the Adams Hornet. This one has a couple new revisions on it. First and foremost, you'll see this. It's a adjustable gap receiver. So you, by unscrewing here, turning in and out, you can change where the end of your mouthpiece and the beginning of the lead pipe, that distance, which is highly, highly critical here. So I've just got it back today, so I don't really know where to put it, uh, but it's super cool and it's highly, highly sensitive. You can see how this horn is in a, um, what we call antique finish. Uh, the antique finish is awesome. Uh, you'll see that this new lead pipe, however, is in raw brass. This is a new prototype lead pipe we're working on, also a prototype tuning side. Cool thing about this horn is it has a tuning trigger so I'm going to give you four demonstrations. They're with four different mouthpieces. I'm going to show you each one after I play it. The first is the trumpet flugel mouthpiece. In fact, I'm going to get that a little closer so you can see that depth. It sounds nice and warm and rich. Tighten this. I'm actually going to use for the majority of my playing on this horn, hornet, because it really, it really works wonderfully with this instrument and the large bore. Next is my PA1 DS. Okay, it's a PA1 rim with a CS cup. For comparison, This is the CS, and that's the CS. Much deeper on the CS. This will give you a much brighter, more uh, all-around sound. something super rich, warm, and creamy. This guy is ultra deep. Try to get it there. You can see actually on the side profile, you see how deep that is. And it's also really short shank. So it actually gives more of a dark, dark cornet vibe on this. passing choo choo and for something a little ridiculous this is my lead mouthpiece that I made for this horn and I'm actually gonna back the gap up one whole revolution to see what happens hope that this doesn't pop my new ribbon mic going to open up uh, Adam's Hornets available for sale probably around the Midwest so there might be one for sale at the Midwest conference in Chicago pricing still to be determined once we get through the uh, modifications 
should be good to go. Thanks so much for watching all these videos, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much, and have a great day.